Hi, brothers and sisters in Christ. I'm back again. I thought I would report this because it's, I'm pretty sure it's pretty important. It is Monday, December 2nd. It's 8, no, I'm sorry, 9.50 a.m. Okay, I don't know how many of you have been keeping up with what's going on in Hong Kong. Remember I told you that some, some of the things that I report, they're words from the Lord, or one time it was a poem that was a real blessing. Those are coming from a ministry in Hong Kong. Okay, right now, for some reason, Hong Kong has been allowed to be a democratic, free society within China, which is totally communist okay you can't practice Christianity openly if they see you walking down the street with a Bible you'll get arrested oops did I do that okay. all right people in the streets of Hong Kong singing the US national anthem and waving American flags one day after President Trump signed two bills backing the pro-democracy protesters there in Hong Kong. The Chinese foreign ministry calling the move a, quote, severe interference in Hong that. Kong affairs, serious violation of international law, and basic norms governing international relations. Shocking the Chinese are not so happy about pro-democracy protesters, Laura. What's interesting to watch now as we're seeing is how much this is energizing the protesters in Hong Kong from the South China Morning Post there in Asia. Sense of unease hangs over Hong Kong as protesters pre prepare for anti-government rally near site of violent clashes between radicals and police. This has certainly emboldened the protesters to get this real voice of support from President Trump and not only from the president, but also from both chambers of Congress that passed the law. Okay, I'm going to stop it there and I'm going to claim fair use of this portion of Fox News Channel for the purposes of educating my subscribers. Okay, we do have a fair use law here in the United States of America where we can use portions of someone else's work as long as it is for, um, there are several reasons, education, commentary, um, even satire. Okay, things like that. This is a Fox News report, which makes me suspicious of the whole thing. Now, let me tell you why. Okay. Now, according to the email, all right, let me go back to my email. It says, China announced Monday that it will suspend U.S. Navy visits to Hong Kong in retaliation over President Trump's decision to sign legislation that supported the city's pro-democracy protesters who have taken to the streets since June. So for a half a year now, there have been protests going on that they haven't I don't know. I don't watch TV. I don't watch Fox News. I've heard very little about it. Most of what I've heard came from the lady that sends me those emails with the prophecies. All right. She sent me a video a week or two ago. It's been very violent. They do not want to lose their democracy. And President Trump got involved and signed a bill um, stating we would back Hong Kong. Okay, I don't know what all it said. I haven't read into that. But what I wanted to just share with you is that China has suspended the U.S. Navy visits to Hong Kong because of that bill. And this could be very big news. How are they going to get help to Hong Kong if China 
suspends the the Navy vessels. They cannot get their ships to them. See, I don't even know where Hong Kong is. I don't know anything about Chinese ge geography. I should look it up, but I'm not going to. Anybody's welcome to do that. It's easy enough to Google Map of China. Okay, they show a great big ship here in water. And that's it. There's no map of China. Okay, so I'm going to leave the link to this foxnews.com slash world slash China to suspend U.S. Navy visits. So you can read this and watch the videos here if you want to. I do think we need to be aware of this. It's another thing that's going to lead to World War III. Maybe after the rapture. I am convinced the first rapture has to take place so that that's when the restrainer is taken out of the way. Then the Antichrist is revealed. That's what Second Thessalonians chapter 2 says. People's Keep saying that means apostasy and they're talking about apostasy in the church and how they're falling away. Well, yeah, that's going on still. And in a bigger way, that is true. But that word also translates into a taking away, a, a defection. All right, so while people are defecting from the Christian faith like they ought to be believing and they're going new agey and all that that's my term there's another defection coming up and it will be the bride of christ and those who are found worthy to escape all these things that are to come to pass and to stand before the son of man all right so that happens and then the antichrist is revealed when does that happen at the first seal when they open the first seal when Jesus opens the first seal and will be in heaven watching this that's what John goes to heaven in the spirit at Revelation 4 1 he sees an open door he goes in there to the throne room and he sees the creatures and all they have all these eyes and everything. There's, 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 um, what's the word I want? There's a translation for all that. There's a, that's significant of something. And there are differences of opinion in that. But what I think it means is our God is all knowing, He sees everything. All the eyes, I think, represent uh, whoever's up there serving God. Helps him see all, know all. He can be everywhere at the same time through the Holy Spirit. He's omnipresent. And he's not coming back. He will not leave uh, those who are left behind. He will not leave you or forsake you. He promised that. That is in his word. He is a God of his word. And where people get that, I don't know. Because then God wouldn't be omnipresent, would he? No, he wouldn't. So I'll end this here and say I plead the blood of Jesus over this video, the internet connection, my computer, and over each and every one of you and all of your devices and internet connections. With that I'll say bye for now. I'll talk to you later.